Hi friends, welcome to Redpress Sasha. We know that the stretch of lines that run from east to west direction parallel to the equator is known as lines of latitude. Latitude are also known as parallels. But for locating a place on earth, it is very much important for us to know about the longitude apart from knowing the latitude of a place. So in this video, we are going to see in detail about longitude. Characteristics of longitude The set of vertical lines that run from north to south converging at the poles is known as longitude. Longitudes are also known as meridians. The longitude cross the equator at right angle or 90 degree. The line of reference for locating places east or west is the prime meridian. Do you know that for historical reason, in 1884, the meridian passing through the Royal Astronomical Observatory in Greenwich, England was chosen as the prime meridian. So, the zero degree longitude is chosen as the prime meridian, which is also known as the Greenwich meridian. There are 180 meridians to the east and 180 meridians to the west of the prime meridian. So, there are total 360 meridians on the globe. We can observe from the globe that the 180 degree east and the 180 degree west meridian lies on the same line. All meridians are half circle as they join the north pole and the south pole. Meridians are not parallel to each other like latitudes but they are equal distance to each other. The prime meridian divides the earth into two equal halves, the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. The distance between the lines of longitude decreases from 111 km at the equator towards the pole. Apart from helping in locating place, longitude also helps us in measuring time. Importance of longitude Apart from helping in locating places, longitude play a prime role on measuring time. It is due to the rotation of the earth on its axis from west to east. We already know that the earth takes 24 hours to complete one circle of rotation that is 360 degree. So it takes 24 hours for 360 degree rotation. Now we are going to calculate it for one hour. One hour is equal to 360 degree divided by 24 hours which is equal to 15 degree rotation. So it takes one half of or 60 minutes for 15 degree rotation. For 1 degree rotation, time required is 60 minutes divided by 15 degree which is equal to 4 minutes. So the earth takes 4 minutes to complete 1 degree rotation. We can see in detail about longitude and time in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I will meet you in the next video with the continuation of longitude and time. Until then bye bye from Sasha.